This is Alim from Javelin playing with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Let me ask you one question. To use appearances just to make your models look more uh, realistic or also use them as very powerful selection tools? Let me show you what I have in mind. So I'm just going to try to make this uh, part uh, looking a bit more realistic. Maybe I'm going to apply a cast carbon steel appearance to the whole part. And let's uh, apply some machine steel appearances to the faces that really need machining. So I'm going to take this, maybe drag it over this face. And you know in SOLIDWORKS 2012, 13, 10, doesn't matter which one, you have the option to apply uh, these appearances to different layers. The basic one is the part, on top of it you have the body, features and faces. So in this case I'm going to select the feature level just because I want to apply this appearance to all the faces created by this feature. So you see what, what I'm getting. Now let's say I want to do the same thing for all these counterboards on the bottom. Some people are just dragging this one more time from the appearance library. And let's apply again to features. But what you get is a completely different appearance in the display manager. So allow me to just remove this appearance. And let's see how things could have been done in 2012. So you can select a face maybe and you can right click on this uh, appearance and attach it to selection. But remembering that what I selected is just a face. So this wasn't attached to the whole feature, it was attached just to the face. It's pretty hard to to do that in 2012. You need to go through through the tree in order to select the feature and after that apply the appearance to that feature. So allow me just to remove this appearance. In 2012 things become extremely easy. So I'm just going to select this uh, face and I'm going to pick up whatever appearance I have on that face and I'm going to copy it in the memory. This is new in 2013. Um, and now I select the face and I'm going to paste this appearance. And I have the luxury of selecting what layer I want to apply it to, let's say to the feature layer. The other thing that's not really nice is the fact that I can pin this down and pretty much tell SOLIDWORKS that from now on the appearance target will be the feature. So let's see what I did here. Just going to remove it from the face, looks like accidentally I applied it to the face. And now I'm going to actually paste it directly to the, uh, the feature level. Same thing to this guy. Paste. I don't have to answer anything because SOLIDWORKS knows what I have in mind. Same thing for this one. So as you can see, this is done quite easily and, and really, really fast. Now, let me show you what I had in mind when I said about selection, uh, appearances as selections. Let me go to the other configuration. This is the simplified configuration that I'm going to use only in assemblies. And here probably all the fillets and some of the holes are going to be suppressed. So let me create that uh, group of features that is going to be suppressed. And think of this also as a technique that can be applied to creating group of components in assemblies maybe, or a group of bodies um, when you do, when you use lots of surfaces. So let me select all the fillets and you know you can do that using the filter from here. And let me apply a color to all of this. Maybe I'm going to make all the fillets yellow. And let me copy this uh, appearance and let me select all the holes that I have, all the features that have been created by the whole wizard. So I'm selecting these two features and I'm just going to paste the appearance again. So this is done. Now the only thing I need to do is go and select my appearance from here. And you see what actually gets selected? When I hit, when I uh, click on the appearance, I'm selecting all the entities that are inside uh, listed under this appearance. So I can right click now in the graphic area and just go suppress. So it's a nice selection tool. Works, works very, very easy. Let's select it again. Don't right click here because if you right click here, what you get are the options for the appearances. With uh, the appearance selected, you have to right click in the graphic area. And now as you can see, I can go on suppress. So it's a, it's a super nice uh, selection tool. Thank you very much.
Hope you enjoyed this video.